we'll be creating something like this. But before we do, at the 2020 Apple September event, Apple announced a bunch of new releases, including new AirPods, watches, and phones. Now, one of the most notable phone updates was called the Dynamic Island, and designers are already loving it. According to Charles Patterson, he said, hottest piece of UI. Jean Mark Dennis said, great idea. Now here's how it works. Apple has shrunk the face ID detection and self ID camera by 30%. So the pill on the 14 is a little smaller than the 13. Now, since the screen is an OLED screen, which in simpler terms means it works without a backlight, thus it can display deep black levels. Now, since the OLED can display deep black levels, whenever you are using a Dynamic Island friendly app, I have to stop saying Dynamic Island, the pill can now move and resize itself to give you a hybrid of notifications and live widgets right at the top of the screen. Booyah. So let's jump into Figma and create our very first Dynamic Island transition. Now, if you wanna follow along, there is a link in the description for you to download the Figma file and follow along. So let's dive right into the computer over here. Now on the left-hand side, you can see that we have an example and then we also have the X size where you can follow along. Now, once again, let's preview the prototype. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button in the top right corner. This will go ahead and play. So if I click on the Dynamic Island now, it will pop up and if I hit hang up, it will bring it back. So let's jump into Figma. Let's go into exercise and let's go ahead and build out this dynamic island. So the first thing we need to do is we need to understand what are the elements that we need in this prototype. So I've already actually added the phone icons just so you have that readily available, but we need to go ahead and add in the avatar and also the text. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna hit command on our uh, keyboard and select the pill or the dynamic island directly, just so we understand how this is set up. So we can see we've got a status bar and then in the middle, we have a dynamic island, right? In the group, then we have the camera. It's a little icon right in the top uh, right corner. And then we have the pill itself. Now, the first thing we wanna do, we actually wanna go hit O on our keyboard and then we wanna hold down shift and draw down the avatar size. So this can be any size, to be honest. I'm gonna make it maybe uh, 20 by 20. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a fill. Go to solid and then change this to image and I'm gonna put an image of myself. So I've got an image of myself in there, done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and I'm just gonna put some text down and I'm gonna write incoming call. So I'm gonna be utilizing SF Pro Text, which is the standard uh, San Francisco font that's on, the on my Mac device. Then I'll keep it as semi-bold and I might just reduce that all the way down to maybe eight pixels. It's fine, it's not legible, but that's the point. Then I'm gonna just change 22 line height to maybe 100% for now. And I might just change the letter spacing to zero for now. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just line that up over here. Then I'm gonna hit Command D on my keyboard, holding down Shift, hit Down key on my keyboard, and that should nest it down. Then I'm gonna change the text in here to Mizco. So incoming call from Mizco. Now once that's done, I'm gonna hold down Command, Direct Select Incoming Call. Now holding down Shift, direct select the Mizco text, right? I'm gonna direct select the Mizco text. Then I'm gonna align them both to the left. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just align that in the center vertically. Now I also wanna go ahead and actually uh, dim this text, right? So just to give it a little bit more hierarchy in terms of uh, visual design. So I might just drop this opacity down to 50%. So we've actually got an incoming call from Mizco. And the last thing we wanna do is actually add these buttons onto the right-hand side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, hit maybe Command D to duplicate it. So we have a um, the single source of truth over on the left if we ever need to uh, rebuild it. I might actually remove these drop shadows from it. I think that's by accident. I'm gonna hit K on my keyboard, holding down Shift, and I'm gonna resize it down um, as much as I can, right? So as long as it's really, really small, that's what we need to do. So I'm just gonna align it to the right hand side and make sure it's just vertically centered. Now, what we also wanted to make sure we're doing is we wanna make sure that we highlight all the new elements that we've uh, added and just make sure that we're just dragging and dropping it inside the dynamic island component, right? This group, and just making sure that everything else is nested inside. Now, I might just go ahead and just rename this to avatar. Now, I also just wanna make sure that the avatar is also centered vertically as well. Now, we also need to make sure we 
turn down the opacity to 0% because this is going to be the starting state. So I'm gonna make sure that all the elements inside, I'm gonna holding down shift and just select them all and make it pass through 0% or done. Now, zooming out, I'm gonna go ahead and select the entire canvas, hit command D, right? Now the goal here is to now create the end state of the transition. So we have the starting state and then we have the end state. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down command and I'm gonna directly select the pill itself, just the pill. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I resize it by holding down option and I'm gonna stretch it all the way to the left and right. And then I need to go ahead, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna click and drag the bottom of this pill, right? And I might just make it uh, 90 pixels high. Now you might see it crops off. So what we need to do is select the status bar holding down command and just bring down the frame. So it sort of uncovers uh, everything else inside. Now from here, what we wanna do is we wanna first increase the border radius of this pill so it's nice and smooth. So holding down command and clicking will directly select this element. And we can maybe bump this up to, let's see, maybe it's around 44. Let's even maybe bring this out a little bit more and we can see and maybe we can increase this down to maybe 94, just like that. So we have a nice even border around everything. That's looking good. Then what we wanna do is we actually wanna go ahead and resize everything to the end state, right? We wanna make sure everything in the previous version, everything was resized and made minuscule. And what we wanna do is when we create the prototype, it's going to grow and enlarge. So what we wanna do is click the avatar Right, and hit K on your keyboard to resize it. And we can resize this by holding down shift to keep maintain the same aspect ratio and maybe make it 60 by 60. We also wanna increase the opacity to maybe 100%. Vertically align it um, right by clicking in the top right corner and making it align. And then we can bring this over, over to the left hand side. Now, if you hold down option and drag your mouse around, you can see that you can see how far it is from the container itself. So if we want to make it really even, we can make it 16 on the left and we can bring it up and then we just have to reduce the height of this uh, pill and we can have 16 pixels on the top, bottom and left. Now, the second thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and resize the text now. So by selecting Mizco and holding down shift and selecting uh, incoming core, I'm gonna go ahead and give this text 15 points. That's the standard font size for Apple. Now I wanna go ahead and make sure we turn on the opacity to 100%. And we just need to go ahead and align it to the left. And then I might just quickly re, uh, re -lay out this and bring this over to the left hand side. Perfect. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and resize the phone buttons. So I'm gonna click on the phone button a frame uncollapse them, I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard and I'm gonna directly select, make sure that they're both selected. Now I'm gonna hit K on my keyboard and make sure I resize these to 40 by 40, right? So I can resize them to 45 by 40 and you can see that the width and the height is 40 by 40. So we can go ahead and click on phone buttons and actually increase the opacity now over to 100%. And we can also click on the top right corner to resize to fit and that will fit the frame and keep everything nicely tucked in and nested. Then all I have to do is just bring this over to the right hand side, holding down option and just making sure that we have 16 pixels on the right hand side and everything else is centered. 26 pixels on top and bottom, everything is even. All right, so that's all done. We just have to create the prototype now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select the first screen, which is the start state. I'm then gonna go ahead and double click onto the pill itself, the dynamic island. From this node, I'll click and drag and link it to the second screen, which is the end state. Now we're gonna make sure that it's on click and we're gonna do a smart animate and we'll click ease in and out back. So this will create a nice little bouncy uh, animation or transition for our prototype. Then we're gonna go ahead and double click onto the end core or the hang up core. And then we're gonna link and drag it back to the initial state, which is the start state. Making sure it's on click, making sure it's smart animate, and then we're gonna do ease in and out and make sure it's 400 milliseconds. Then we can go ahead and just preview this example. Now, if we go ahead and click anywhere in the pill, we can see it bounces up 
and then we can go ahead and hang up on the call and it bounces back in. So it is that simple to recreate the Dynamic Island prototype inside Figma. So let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts about the latest Apple update? And what are your honest thoughts about the Dynamic Island? All right, guys, I'll see you in another video very soon.